Deadpool is back, baby. That is probably the dumbest thing I've done for a video opening uh, ever. Deadpool and Wolverine is the latest film to come out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, following the slight downward trend of the previous films to come out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as of late, this movie is fantastic. As you can imagine, the movie follows Wade Wilson as Deadpool, as events happen, the TVA comes for him, and he must now go collect Wolverine to help save his universe. All of this is stated in the trailers, so I'm not spoiling anything for those who haven't seen it. But without getting into too many spoilers, this movie is exactly what you would expect from the concept of a Deadpool and Wolverine team-up movie based on the Fox X-Men movies with the same characters. Now, you might be wondering how they're going to do that without disrespecting the end of Logan. I'm not going to ruin it for you. Go watch the movie. That's like the first five minutes of the film. My cat has lost her mind. Overall, I think that this movie is a lot of fun. Obviously, as this movie follows Deadpool and Wolverine on their little escapades, we actually get a lot more information as to this specific version of Logan's life kind of what he did, why he is in the place he is, which is actually really interesting. And also, so that I don't give away any spoilers, uh, kind of understandable? It basically boils down to, uh, without getting into spoilers, he blames himself for uh, certain events in his world, and he does not believe he is good enough to be considered a hero. And so... A large part of the movie is spent with him trying to come to terms with that, as well as a large part of self-loathing for letting those around him down. And keeping in line with the first two Deadpool films, Deadpool and Wolverine does have a surprising amount of character growth for Wade, not only in how he acts towards others in general, which was a kind of general improvement throughout the other two movies. Deadpool 1, Wade trying to come to grips with who he is as a person and how he has acted to his loved ones specifically. Deadpool 2 is Wade trying to be a hero. More than that, he's specifically trying to help this kid who he thinks needs his help. He's basically growing a family of his friends around him, and it makes it very much a found family film and about how those around you can help lift you up if you are down. In this movie, Wade is trying to figure out who he is. After the events of Deadpool 2, he basically lost focus of who he wants to be and who he is in the world. And so this movie is about him trying to kind of figure that out and figure out what being Deadpool means to him. And I actually find that really interesting. But more importantly, this movie is about Deadpool killing the f out of people. A lot of people thought, and myself included, that this film would be kind of a way to introduce mutants and Deadpool into the MC. And while initially in the film it is presented as, hey, if you do the thing, you get to be in the main line universe, which would have been cool. Wade never goes to the main Marvel Cinematic Universe in this film. This movie is entirely about trying to save his own world. And I kind of like that it contains the story very much to its own thing. This movie is a love letter to the Fox Marvel films. Not only does Wolverine show up and he is just in this movie in its entirety and also in the f***ing yellow spandex. Oh my god, they look so f***ing good. There are so many references to places and events that happen in the Fox, X-Men, and the Fantastic Four, and the Daredevil and Elektra movies, and just all of them. 
it's so cool. You'll see like different buildings from each of these films and locations like scattered around the back. Deadpool makes like fourth wall breaks about it. It's really funny. Uh, my favorite part is at one point he rocks up, tells Fox they can go suck it, grabs a microphone from off camera, yells directly into it like this with his mouth about that far away from the thing. And then he punches the camera and breaks it. And that is so funny to me, but is great. The fourth wall bricks are amazing. They're so funny. And this movie just feels like such a love letter to what Fox was doing. The end credit scene has like a behind the scenes of all the different Fox movies and clips. And it's so cool. And I'm just nerding out. And honestly, I think this movie was the ultimate farewell to the Fox X-Men franchise. And just everything about this movie is so, so fun. If you're a fan of the Fox Marvel films, you need to go see this movie. It is the ultimate thank you and love letter and farewell to them. And I highly, highly recommend it if you are a fan of Deadpool, especially. This movie is so incredibly fun. The fights are f***ing inventive and imaginative. Getting to see all the Deadpool variants was absolutely brilliant. They are so funny when they pop up. Even for the absolute 100% limited amount of time they are on screen, Deadpool is absolutely f***ing hilarious. Uh, there's so many good moments. One of my personal favorites, minor spoilers. We never got to see a proper fight between Wolverine and Sabretooth in the original three X-Men movies. And let's just say we finally got that showdown. All the Wolverine references too, like the original comic colors and then comic accurate short Wolverine. That was a f***ing treat to see. Patch makes an appearance. Just, oh my God, it, this movie is such a love letter to the comics and to the fans and to everyone. And fuck, I'm just gushing about this movie now. If you are a fan, you need to go see this. In this immediate moment, just a couple of hours after watching the Deadpool and Wolverine movie, for me, this film rolls a natural 20. Just all of the references, everything. It feels like such a love letter to the fans that made these franchise and these movies as popular as they are. And I absolutely love that. It feels great. It feels like a fantastic farewell to the Fox universe as it is. Like I said, if you're a fan of this movie, if you're a fan of the Deadpool movies, you have to go see this film as soon as you can. It is absolutely amazing. I loved every second of it. All of the cameos are great. And if you're as big a fan as I am, you're going to absolutely freak out at them. With that, that's all that I have for now. If you want to follow me on any of my socials as sporadically as I ever post on any of them, links to everything in the thing, you know where. But that is all that I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.